Hi, fifth grade, and welcome back to school. Today, we're going to begin our first lesson for our math. Now, fifth grade math is just a continuation of your fourth grade math. So we're going to be looking at a lot of the same topics, a lot of the same methods, and just adding one or two more steps or one or two more concepts. Uh, for instance, we're going to be talking today about place value and decimals, two things that we both, well, we covered both of those things last year, place value at the beginning of the year, and then decimals at the end of the year around fractions. We're going to combine those with our powers of 10 and see how they interact and understand how those numbers can move when they're um, put together in a variety of ways. So let's look at our example here at the top. So we have our decimal. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So we have our decimal 3.452, and we're multiplying it times 10. Now this is a really great example because it, of course, has everything on it for you. So here's our decimal point, and here's our place value chart. Okay, we have 3.452, okay? So when we multiply by 10, just like we learned last year, you move every place value to the left for every zero that you have here. So in this case, we have one zero. So every number moves up just one to the left. Essentially, it's getting greater by a multiple of 10. It's going up by 10 for every number. So let's look, let's look at an example that we can do together on this. We again have this 3.452, but this time we have, we're multiplying it by 100. So let's put our 3.452 in, just like the last one. But this time we're going up by 1, 0, 2, 0. So we're going up by power of 2. So this 2 isn't moving here, it's actually moving way over here this time. So it's going 1. 2, this 5, same thing, 1, 2, this 4, 1, 2, and of course this 3, 1, I'm sorry, 1, 2. So our answer this time is actually 345.2, because I moved those numbers again over two spaces. I'll see if I can actually fit some arrows in here. Didn't want to make it too crowded, but I think I can just make it fit for the example. Perfect. Okay, let's look at the next example. Okay. We're starting with the same decimal again, but this time we're multiplying at times 1,000. So let's see how that plays out. So I have 3.452. So my numbers are starting in the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. And I'm going to multiply them by a thousand. So notice that I have one, two, three, zero. So I'm moving my numbers three place values to the left. So my two is one, two, three. My five, one, two, three. My four, one, two, three. And then my three, one, two, Three. So 3,452. We'll draw these lines as neatly as I can so they aren't blocking anything. There we go. Okay. Now let's put our answer in up here. Answer being 3,452. Awesome. So again, you're moving it by the number of zeros. That's really the best trick that I can give you for this is I mean, of course, you're multiplying each individual place value, the digit in there, by a 1,000, so moving them over that much. But if you need even just a simple method to remember it by, remember that you're moving it by the number of zeros. And this is going to be the same, for example, down here. So now we're looking at dividing. Multiplying and dividing, remember, are just two sides of the same coin. So in this case, we have 345, and we're dividing it by 10. So we're taking all those individual place values and dividing them by 10. So instead of moving up or left by one zero, we're now moving down or right on the place value chart by one zero. So my three, which was here in the hundreds place, is now here in the tens place. My four that was here in the tens place is now here in the ones place. And my five that was in the ones place here now goes to the tenths place, which is the number right here behind the decimal. So let's do a couple examples here. 345, yet again, and 
And this time we're dividing by 100, so there's one, two zeros. So just like when we're multiplying, we're gonna be moving two spots, but this time we're not making it larger, we're making it smaller. So I'm gonna start with my three here. It's moving one, two spots, I'll use my blue. One, two spots. My four is moving one, two spots. My five is moving one, two spots as well. So it's no longer 345, it is now 3.45. Because again, I divided it by 100. I'm moving each individual digit two place values over because there's two zeros. It's a property of 100 here and a power of two. So I'm gonna write my answer up here as well, 3.45, great. Okay, let's come down here and work with that 345 one last time. 345. Okay, so we have one, two, three, zero. So we're moving it over power of three, or if you think about it, we're dividing these individual digits by a thousand. So moving this three over one, two, three times. This four, same thing, one, two, three times, as well as this five, one, two, three times. Great. Okay, so 345 has now become 0.345, because we divided it by a thousand. Let's get a skinnier line here. There we go. Okay. So when you guys are working on your Google Form or anything else that you need to have done for today, please make sure that you're following these steps and rewatch this video as many times as you need to understand the different parts of this place value chart. Um, remember that you're just moving to the left when you're multiplying and you're moving to the right when you're dividing. If you need any help, please reach out to your teacher and have a great day.